Now we're going to start making our background. So for our background, we're going to be using a black piece of paper. Grab a black piece of paper if you have one. Otherwise, you can just draw your winter scene on a white piece of paper. On the black piece of paper, we're drawing on it with a white crayon. This is what's really going to pop. You could try a white colored pencil, but it won't pop as much as a white crayon will. Push down really, really hard. Where the white's gonna be is where the highlights of your snow is going to be, and where the black is is where the darkness is going to be. So keep that in mind when you're coloring. Once you're done coloring that all in, then we're going to take our snowman and we're going to cut him out and then we're gonna put them together on the paper. Remember, if you're using bottled glue, you don't need a ton of glue. Just a few dots will be enough to glue this all down. Once your snowman is all put together, you can start your background. I made a moon and some snowflakes. On a separate sheet of paper, we're going to make some snowman accessories. These are some extra things that you can add to your snowman. I added a hat, some twigs for arms, and a colorful scarf. Now you can add more than just these things if you'd like, or you can add different things if you'd like to too. I also need to add a carrot to my snowman, so I'm gonna go back and finish the carrot too. Remember to really take your time coloring in nice and neat. Once you're all finished coloring everything in, then you can cut all of your snowman accessories out and glue them wherever they belong onto your snowman. And then you are all finished. Make sure that your snowman goes somewhere safe to dry. If you're at home, you'll have to decide where that is. But at school, we have a drying rack that we can use.